Well, I'm an industrial designer, so uh, it is a product-based course and includes product-based solutions. And so, yeah, the solution that I want to come up with or that I'm working on um, is a reusable sanitary pad. So my research is all around menstrual health, specifically in South Africa, and the issues that exist around it. Um, and my innovation is a reusable sanitary pad, which is supposed to have similar benefits to a menstrual cup. Um, the menstrual cup is very cost effective, it's environmentally friendly, it's very easy to clean, and the biggest problem with it, however, is that there's a lot of taboo around inserting menstrual products within our country. And so this is essentially a, a sanitary pad version of this that overcomes this taboo. For the woman on the street, it really is just to, yeah, have a product that is affordable, um, that can be reused, and to overcome a lot of taboos that exist around menstruation. Menstruation is seen as something unclean and something dirty. And what this causes is that there's a lot of concealment and silence around menstruation, which means, you know, there's a whole load of problems that come from that then, including that there's too little education around it or that people don't speak about their needs enough. Through research, I mean specifically in my topic, is just how taboo the topic of menstruation still is and how many problems come from it being so taboo um, and unspoken about and not addressed correctly. Um, and for myself, it's been actually very liberating in a sense to be able to deal with these issues more openly. It is a big problem, especially in our country, is that a lot of girls are missing out on school during their periods because they don't have um, sufficient menstrual products. And I mean, the sad reality of that is means that, you know, it would be more taboo and worse for someone to find out that you're menstruating than not receiving an education. So that again, just amplifies how taboo this topic is. Um, and hopefully with a product that I'm developing, it could be a solution. The TTO approached me after um, I presented this product in my honours dissertation and they have recently filed a patent for it. So they really are there to protect my intellectual property. Um, but they've also been there assisting me through the process of development in a commercial sense, um, which is something that I haven't been familiar with.